Hello! Welcome to Monday, Monday with, with the, the Mavens. Mavens! Okay guys, we are talking all things supplements today. The good, the bad, the ugly. Do you need them? What should you look for? Are some better than others? Do you just pee them out? All the things. <laughs> Sometimes you do. <laughs> hey, we just said welcome to or, uh, Monday with the Mavens without looking at I, each other. You know what? I noticed it myself. I was trying really hard to pull that off. Yeah, I thought, you know, is she going to look at me? Is she I know. I, we're back on my front porch. We're looking like into it the sun. Real bright. So it's really bright. So if we're squinting and we're still looking at two cameras, Facebook over here, Instagram over here, we apologize. But I don't think you guys care. I think maybe you yeah. just care what we're yeah. talking about. You get what you get, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, we've got so much goodness to talk about and we might have some special guests today. Oh, just yeah. FYI. Yeah. A little, <laughs> little surprise coming a little, at you. A little surprise. It's actually a surprise coming at us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay guys. So the reason we wanted to talk about this is that we get so many questions about supplements and First and foremost, like this, what we're going to talk about today does not take the place of your medical provider's no. recommendations. We want to be really clear on yeah, that. Yeah, we're not your doctor. We're not doctors, but we will tell you what we know, and hopefully you guys will be able to walk away with a little bit of extra information to arm yourselves with. Yeah, and let's talk just for a second about what we know, because um, I think I said this in a story, but like Haley and I are not claiming to be these um, like elite supplement experts by any means. However, we've had a lifetime of um, supplement usage, supplement evaluation. I've directed functional medicine clinics and laboratories and been in the process of um, formulating all sorts of different supplements, evaluating supplements, been to supplement manufacturers. Like, There's a lot of good information and a lot of misinformation out there. And um, I just love to like get down to the nitty gritty and yeah. see what you might or might not need. And we had a ton of questions that came in, which is really cool. So it shows that there those is are an all going to be a surprise to me because I haven't looked at any of those. So <laughs> can't wait. I only told her about one that was actually really funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and so um, we'll try to stay as organized as possible as we go through because it is a lot of information. But if you guys have any questions as we go, please absolutely put them into the comment box. If you don't want to ask it publicly, you can always message us. Um, and then after the fact, if you're watching this, you can always comment or message us and we'll do our best to answer. And so. then take the information that we give you and then go do your own research. Absolutely. You know, like it's very, taking a supplement is very unique to your individuality. And so we don't want to say like, you should take this, you know, you talk to your medical provider, look, Think about who you are as a person and what you need, what your body needs, and make the best decision for yourself. Absolutely. And I, I want to piggyback on that because I think one thing Haley and I always say, even with the own supplements that we've created, um, is there is no such thing as a magic pill. Yeah. Um, none. And found, like, if I think supplements come in play when you first do all the other things. So really focusing on um, eating good, well-balanced nutrition, um, minimizing stress or having stress resilience, uh, prioritizing sleep, um, staying hydrated, practicing gratitude, all of those things first. Okay. Okay, we have a little bit, we, we, have, we have some some extra special guests. Okay, so this is us practicing what we preach, okay? <laughs> yeah. So um, it's summer and one of my boys, Scout, is here and Haley's daughter, Berkeley, is here and they wanted to do a bake-off. And we said, well, we're gonna be on a live and they're like, but it can't get cold. And so, you know what, guys? You can fit treats in. And so they're going to present. They just oh came goodness. outside. Okay, so this is Berkeley's. Oh, wow. Ber oh, wow. And this <laughs> is Scout. So Berks, we're just we're just gonna take like two minutes, guys. Stick with us. Yeah. We so, told them that we we could do this. So Berkeley, what did you make? I made waffle cakes. Waffle so, cakes. It's cake batter, but you make it in a waffle. And our thing that we had to do was it had to be chocolate. Okay. okay. The, theme the theme was, was chocolate. chocolate. So Berkeley made chocolate waffle cakes with beautiful These strawberry roses. Yeah. That's really pretty. Oh, I love the presentation. Okay, okay Scout, Scout, what did you make? Um, bugs. Um, bugs with cereal and uh, uh, peanuts on top. And chocolate sauce. Ooh, yeah. I have a snail. 
I have a ladybug oh, for a lady. I love you for a lady. <laughs> so, All right. So, so guys, just so you know, like, yes, Haley and I still both follow a macro plan. <laughs> Already planned for today. I'm totally going to not miss out oh, on this. No. So I'll just go back and track what I eat and yep. then work the rest of my day around it, okay. which you can totally do. So we're just going to do this on... On air, I get on okay, air. Okay, so first chocolate waffle cake. Chocolate waffle cake. I'm having mine with raspberry. I'm having mine plain and all. Mmm. Moist. Good texture. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Mm, very beautiful. Good A plus for presentation. Yeah. I like the chocolate swirl. Well mm, done. Thanks, Burks. You okay. Have chocolate on your nose. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. You guys will have to let us know too what your vote is. You can't yeah. taste it, but mine is a bug. Mine is well, a, a snail with Crunchy cereal, peanuts, chocolate sauce. I've got a little mini Kit Kat on my on, on mine. Wow. We just got one also. Oh. You guys use the same batter? Well, I mean, we made our batter. Mm. Love the crunch. Okay, I'm going back in for a second bite. Oh, guys, I don't know. This is tricky. That's good. Okay, we've got to wrap this up. Okay. Who's, what's your vote? Well... I really like a waffle because I like a little bit of the crispy texture on the outside. Um, but I kind of feel like I can't vote for my own kid. I was going <laughs> to say the same thing because I love the presentation of the snail with the crispy bits and the peanuts mm -hmm. and the chocolate sauce. And, and I last went back time for a second a, bite of this last one. Last time it was a tie. Oh, I went back for a second bite of this one. I, again. I'm voting Scout I'm, even I'm, though it's my I'm own kid. I'm voting Berkeley. <laughs> It's a tie. You guys will have to You guys will be the tiebreaker. No, you guys, you oh. guys can be the tiebreaker. So if you want to vote, do you think that it should be bugs, dirty bugs, <laughs> or chocolate waffle cakes with berries? I just need another raspberry. See, guys, you can fit it in. Totally. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys raspberry. for doing that with us. Here, Scouty. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So we're going to jump right men. back in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They they were really excited job, about kids. that. Um, hey. <laughs> Okay, did I get? Did I scoot you off? I'm sorry, buddy. No. <laughs> am I good? You're good. Are you, okay. Am I yeah, good? you're good. Okay. 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 <laughs> Back okay. to supplements. So, do we want to just? You probably have it organized, so. Well, first and foremost, I just want to share because we've got a lot of questions in, and I think that we should just start with. I know we were just talking about before they came out that not all supplements are created equal. Not everybody needs to supplement. That you should first start with foundational. Um, health before you before you ever decide to supplement or you can do them in tandem also not every supplement needs to be taken forever so it really depends on how taxing you are on your body it depends on what you may or may not be depleted in it depends on your lifestyle it depends on a number of things so also like it depends on your nutrition like are you eating enough omega fatty acids to bugs gotta vote <laughs> here we go somebody better vote for waffle <laughs> Anyway, if, if you're already eating fish multiple times a week, you probably don't need to take an omega. You know, it's one of those things where you're supplementing what you're already doing. So you don't want, it's, it's kind of like taking an Advil if you don't have a headache. Like, why would you do that? You know what I mean? So you just, it, it's all really individual. It is. And the best possible thing to do is actually to test for what you're low in, but that comes at a cost. And you know, it's not super accessible to everybody. And so there are some foundational things that everybody can do to help better, uh, foundational things to help better your foundation. Um, <laughs> and so what we did do is we put together, um, and it's a PDF, um, we put together an overview that's now available as of today on our website, which is macromavens.life. And if you click on the toolbox, you can go to the supplement protocols and overviews. Now, I got a waffle! Sorry, for those of you just tuning in, you'll just have to watch it back and yeah. see what we're talking about. <laughs> um, and so what we did is we just put together a very basic overview of some of the our top suggestions, foundational items, immune boosting items, sleep items, metabolism support items, and then like a miscellaneous category. Now, we say on there too, if you have a brand or a supplement that you love, that has worked for you, that you feel good on, absolutely continue to use that. Um, I know that I'll just put it out there um, in all the years that I've been exposed to supplements and I've looked at third-party testing and you know those that are GMP certified all of the things I think there's a handful of brands that I just kind of commonly trust um, one would be designs for health um, if you're local I do know complete care carries those 
Um, one would be peer encapsulations. I really, at least I used to, I'm not as familiar with them anymore. Integrative Therapeutics, I think has some really good items. And then the ones that we, that Haley and I both use, um, that we love is Thorn. And so the suggestions that we gave clickable links to are the Thorn items, just because that's what we ourselves take. Um, I think what you need to be really careful after you determine what you need is if you're going to spend the money on something, you should be sure that you're getting what some, you're paying for. That, yeah, that you're getting what you pay for. There is, there's very little oversight on the supplement industry. And so a lot of what like big box stores sell, places like Walmart and Costco and Target, there's no standardization. There's no third party testing. There's nobody like checking what is actually in there. And you can say all kinds of things on a label and have it be like very minimally true. So you just gotta, you've gotta do your research. You've gotta read labels and you have to be your own best advocate because you know, people are out there to make a buck. They are, and I will say like when Haley and I created, and I, maybe I shouldn't share this, but I'm gonna. Um, we're all about transparency. When we created um, Mighty Metabolism and Super Sleep, there are some corners we could have very easily cut that the end user would have had no, no idea. idea. Yeah. And it would have saved us money and actually created a bigger margin, but we were, the only reason that we wanted to do that first and foremost is to create something that like we were in love with, that we could take all the individual ingredients that we wanted to take and put it into one supplement where we didn't have to spend all this money on these individual items and have it at a really potent rate. We were even suggested to, to turn it into multiple capsules so that, um, so you'd have to purchase, so have more, to purchase to get the more and we're like, no, dosage. if we can pay a little bit more to get it all in one capsule, yeah. like, why wouldn't we do that? Even if it costs us a little bit more and our margins a little less. So that was just another mm -hmm. like real eye opener as to like, you know, a lot of people truly are out there to just make a buck and I get it. Like in business, you want to make a margin, but if the things that you can look for when you're looking at a supplement, is it standardized? Is it GMP certified? Um, is it all natural ingredients and or certified organic ingredients? Um, is it manufactured in the USA? Um, is it third party tested? Meaning they send out their supplements to a third party non-biased laboratory that tests to confirm the potency um, and the capsule to capsule um, uh, ratios. Um, and that's really important. Like people should want to be, people people should want that. Yeah. Um, and so I know our supplements are that way and I know that Thorn, and that's why we personally, we have a link on our website, like just to put it out there, we do make a margin off of those um, just to be in full transparency. But we wanted something that was easily accessible, that was all in one spot, that was something that we trusted. Whether our clients or you guys choose to use them or not, that's completely your prerogative. There's some other really good ones out there. We just wanted to make it easy for you. Yeah. So So that said, you can just go to our website, click on macromavens.life. In the shop page, you can see there's a link right there to our little thorn, whatever. Yeah. And we'll tell you our favorite supplements from them and kind of why we love the supplements that we've chosen also. Yeah. And um, and we'll chat a little bit about, you know, what you want to avoid in a supplement too, because I think that's really important. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so one of the biggest questions that we got, um, and once again, if you guys are just now joining, if you guys have any questions about specific supplements, about specific ailments and a supplement that may be associated with that, any of those things, let us know. Um, we maybe have already received it. So... Um, I think the most common question we got is what we suggest foundationally. Like if it, are there supplements that everybody should be taking? And I think that's a fantastic question. It's a great question. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Oh, there, yeah. I just think that there are, there's absolutely supplements that everybody should be taking. Um, we'll just talk about a couple of them right off yeah. the bat. Yeah. And I think that once again, like it depends. So, um, like the multi that I take might not be the multi that you take. Like for instance, on our, so starting with the first one, a multivitamin, I think is really important. And which one do you this have? This is the women's thorn multi. Um, and I take it daily. It, um, it's got copper or made without copper and iron. So it's, it, you know, so it's not going to interfere with your hormones necessarily. Mm -hmm. Um, I, there's a whole list of the vitamins on here. A multi, you know, it's funny. I didn't take a multi for years and years. And, um, when I started to take a multi, it was one of those things where it was like, well, I probably should, you know, yeah. because 
people say you should. And, and I did, and I, and I noticed like, um, I don't know, real balanced energy. I sleep really great, which I do most of the time anyway, but I really think that there's some good things in here that I don't take outside of um, what's in here. Like I don't take a, a zinc supplement, but there's zinc in this and diff different things like that. So there's one thing, that's one thing, it's kind of complicated when you start taking a lot of supplements because you'll want to read, like, especially on a multi, like there's selenium in here and chromium. And I, te I tend to take a selenium, I've got it right here, um, a selenium uh, supplement also, but I don't need to when I take the multi, when I'm good about taking my multi. So just be careful that you're not like double dosing and overdoing it based on uh, what's in your multi. Yeah, and I will say, so um, I, I don't have it out here, but I also take a thorn multi, but it's a little bit different. It's the um, multi elite. And so I think to just to cover your bases, if everybody took a foundational multi, men and women, um, do you have slightly different needs? And obviously we're all bio individuals, so we all have different needs from one another. But the one that Haley just showed is the one that we have on our form for women. And there's another one for men. And those are the base multis. If you're somebody that really physically exerts yourself, has a high level of stress or super demanding on your body, you might want to consider the multi elite, which just has more in it and stronger doses of some of the things that are already in, in the other one too. So, um, I would I would suggest just really knowing what your needs are and then one thing that I pay attention to because foundationally we're also going to talk about kind of the top four to five supplements that I think most people need now once again talking to your healthcare provider and or having your levels tested I think can be really important one thing that's always in a multi um, typically is in a multi is vitamin D and magnesium but in my opinion not enough so in yeah. addition to the multi I additionally take vitamin D and magnesium because I want a much higher dose than what the multi is going to provide. And in my opinion, those are two of the most vital critical supplements we can all be taking for overall health. Yeah. I also um, take D and magnesium on top of the multi also. Now, once again, um, and I, I won't, I'll stop saying this, but I just, we want to be really careful that you guys, um, you know, once again, do your own homework, talk to your healthcare provider, all of those things. And the reason I say that specific with this is that I personally take, I in the winter, I take 10,000 IUs of vitamin D every single day. In the summer, I take 5,000 IUs of vitamin D every single day in addition to the vitamin D I get from my food and in addition to the vitamin D I get from my multi. That's a fair amount, but even when I'm exposed to the sunshine because of how demanding I am on my body, vitamin D is so critical. So. I think that it's one that's really important. Now you can very easily have your levels tested by your medical provider. You can do the at-home tests. I think it's good to see where your levels are at and we won't get into like optimal ranges because that's a whole well, nother discussion. That, that's different for everybody. It's like you can't necessarily put everybody on the same curve. One thing you can do right now actually um, to test your vitamin D levels without any like, I don't know, without it being weird, if you can take your thumb and you can press on your shin, like right on your shin bone and if it hurts, um, because that's where your, your bone is really close to your skin there. If, if that bone hurts, then you might be vitamin D deficient because your bones should feel nice and strong. When I press on mine, I have zero pain. Like it's not sore at all when I press on it because I take a, I take vitamin D every day and I take quite a bit also. Yeah. That's just a quick little test you can do. You can always, always look up online also if you have like some funky skin symptom or something or let's say you have like white spots on your fingernails, that can be a sign of like a zinc deficiency. So if you have weird things that pop up, a super quick Google search, like, what does it mean if I have white spots on my fingernail? And, you know, I'm not saying. I was going to say, I've worked in that, healthcare for a long but, time. Don't but, go to Dr. Google for everything. But there are things that, where you may, <laughs> sure. where you may not know. And so, like, yeah. I've got a white spot on my thumb, and I went and I looked, and then I talked to my um, PCP, is that? Yeah, primary yeah. care provider. Yeah, and, and she said, yeah, you may have a zinc deficiency. I didn't test for it. Um, but, uh, and I don't, I don't get a lot of zinc out of my multi. And so anyway, it's just, it yeah. may lead you down a path of being like, man, you know, or restless legs or different things like that. Like oftentimes Huge. you don't necessarily have to take a prescriptive drug. You can supplement with either your nutrition and, or a supplement to help some of those things. So I think that's a really great point. And I think too, when you look at something like vitamin D, which in our opinion is a foundational supplement that most people should be utilizing. 
Um, it's not just for like the bone health that oftentimes people associated with. It has a huge impact on your cellular function, on your cognitive health, on your mood, on your immune system. Mm -hmm. Like vitamin C and vitamin D, well, and others are so profound for keeping our immune system strong and resilient and or for fighting things. Yep. And so I just can't talk about vitamin D enough. And I feel the same way about magnesium. Yeah. Same. Um, magnesium is magic. Now, there's lots of different kinds of magnesium you can buy. Um, there's like magnesium citrate, magnesium glycinate. There are lots of different ones. And most people in the United States are deficient in magnesium. Um, a couple things, like if you struggle with constipation, mm -hmm. if you struggle with sleep, anxiety, I had mentioned like restless leg syndrome, um, chronic migraines, um, some things like that, anxiety, I think I already said that, then a magnesium magnesium supplement could really help you also. Um, one thing to be considerate about when it comes to magnesium is thinking about all the ways our bodies use magnesium. Yeah. Like how are we using up our magnesium? Yeah. And this is something that I don't think about very often, but like if you drink coffee, coffee eats up a lot of magnesium in your body. Um, if you don't sleep well, if you are chronically stressed out, all of those things will gobble up the magnesium that you're putting in your body. And so just be aware of that when you take a supplement as far as like how much you should take. And, and I, once again, take more than the, su the suggested amount. And I take my magnesium at night. So there's certain supplements I take in the morning and there's certain supplements I take at night. The reason I take mine at night is because it also helps with deep restorative sleep and it helps your body with recovery while you're sleeping and it aids in digestion while you're sleeping. And so um, I always suggest take people consider taking both their magnesium and a probiotic if they take one at night. Yeah. Um, along with super sleep, which we'll get into if you need it. Um, so here's a couple of the thorn magnesiums. This is a calcium magnesium, which is actually a uh, capsule form. And then this is magnesium biglycinate, which I actually prefer biglycinate, and it's a powder. And so um, it doesn't have a caloric value to it, but the nice thing about the powder is that it absorbs into, it, it absorbs really quickly. So your body immediately starts utilizing it. It does have a taste to it. So I typically prefer capsules, but the powder actually works better in my opinion. I so, haven't tried that powder yet. Yeah. I, I um, like mine in capsule form. Yeah. Also, right. if you tend to be somebody who does not move your stool through your body regularly, you might try um, a magnesium uh, citrate mm -hmm. because that forces a lot of water into your intestines and will kind of help flush you out and ease constipation. So if you're looking for a specific magnesium to do something specific for your body and you try one without knowing what the purpose is, then you may not get the outcome that you're looking for. So do your research. Yeah. And I, um, so, so far from a foundational standpoint, because we had so many questions in regards to like, are there a handful of supplements that almost everybody should take? And in our opinion, yes, for the most part, everybody's different, but I think you know, if we're talking about the top four or five, finding a really good multi, another question that we had come in is what multi do we suggest? We have it on our supplement overview, which is on our website, on the toolbox, all free resources. Um, and we do have on there the one listed for women, the one listed for men, but if you're somebody that's super demanding on your body, you might wanna consider the elite one. So we've talked about a multi, we've talked about vitamin D, we've talked about magnesium, and the other, there's actually, well, there's probably more than two more, but a probiotic is something that yeah. I also think most people really need, unless you're eating a significant amount of fermented foods and you have a extraordinarily clean nutritional intake um, and your sleep is absolutely <laughs> optimal and you have very little stress and you know that your gut, uh, you know, microbiome, we could get into that, is like optimal, then you probably need a probiotic. Yeah, you basically need a probiotic. <laughs> Everybody should probably have one. Um, I take the Thorn, the Floramend Prime probiotic. I love it. I've been taking it for a long time. It's The, the capsule is really small, which I like. Um, and it's just, it doesn't upset my stomach. So one thing about probiotics is you kind of have to test out several to mm -hmm. see what works with your body. Um, at one point I was taking a probiotic and I had like the worst gas pains when I'd wake up in the morning. And I finally 
associated it with the probiotic I was taking. Quit taking it, tried something else, and it took me, you know, three or four before I finally found one that really agreed with my body, and it happens to be the thorn one. I really love it. Take it every day. Um, you can get on a subscription with them so that you, you know, as soon as you run out, you have another one already there for you, so. Yeah, I love anyway, it. Anyway, that's one I like. Another, um, another one that I do think is really important that kind of goes along with a probiotic is fiber. Um, which is more of a prebiotic, um, or you could use something like a digestive enzyme. Um, they're two different things, but I think digestive enzyme in particular really helps with the way that the body is going to break down and absorb the nutrients from your food. Um, I think that- Do you take a digestive enzyme regularly? So that's a great question. I used to take a digestive enzyme regularly. I now don't. Um, I used to really feel like it was a foundational item. Um, I do, however, take fiber. Um, and I feel like the combination of my probiotic and the fiber that I now take really is more of a prebiotic in nature because of some of the other things it has in it. I feel like that covers my bases and I'm, you know, this might be TMI, but like my bowel regularity is really good. My energy is good. My sleep is good. So I feel like I'm pretty well balanced and I don't necessarily need to anymore. Cool. So how about you? I don't. I take, I will take a digestive <coughs> enzyme if I eat something that I know is not going to settle with me well. <laughs> yeah. Do you have fiber um, in your bag? I don't have fiber in my bag. We, we get asked a lot about fiber. Um, and I was going to go into that in the other section, but fiber is one of those things that optimally you're going to want to get all of your fiber from your food. And, um, it, once sometimes it, that's hard. Yeah. It, it's sometimes really hard to do that because it, it requires eating a lot of vegetables and, or a lot of fruit. And, and sometimes that's difficult to do. Yeah. And we have, um, also on the toolbox of our website, another free resource just called fiber. I think it's called all about fiber. And it really breaks down like, you know, it's different for everybody. It has to do with the demands on your body, the size of your body, all of the things. But on average, and once again, some people need less, some people need more. On average, we like people to shoot for around 25 grams a day. If you're already tracking your food, the nice thing is, is in MyFitnessPal, when you go into more to nut nutrition, nutrition and then the nutrients tab, you can look down and it'll show you exactly it'll how show much you your fiber seven day, day average, yeah. or your seven day average. And, and having your fiber high, there's so many benefits for your gut, your brain, your bowels, all of it. Yeah. Um, and so I do like, um, there's, there's several good fibers out there. I really like, what was the one that we previously suggested that not a lot of people like? It was the vital, vital nutrients. Vital nutrients. So it's a vital nutrient cellulose fiber. Um, oh. It's just, I think it works fantastic. It's just chalky and people no, don't like the terrible. taste of it. So we switched and I actually switched. I switched to the thorn fiber um, and it, it's truly a prebiotic also. And so um, now I will say I get a fair amount of my fiber from my food. So I don't supplement a ton of fiber, but it's good to have it if you need to. Yeah. And there are a million different kinds of fiber. Again, it's similar to a probiotic where you're going to want to find one that agrees with your body. Um, there's soluble, soluble, there's non-soluble fibers out there. You want a good balance of both. Um, but yeah, you, I mean, there's acacia fiber, there's psyllium husk fiber. There are a million different kinds. Find one, try them out, find one that works for you. I like um, psyllium husk capsules too. I do too. And yeah. I, I take those, um, I take those every day. I don't take a lot cause I get a lot of fiber from my food, but I do take a psyllium husk capsule, a couple of them every single day. I like it. Yeah. All right, guys, if you're just joining, we're talking all things supplements. It's kind of boring. I feel like we're kind of boring today. today. I know. We don't have it, but we did, do a, it up we did a do a food contest. Oh, that's true in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, and let us know, guys. We have, oh, oh, I, we had, let, before we keep going, just <laughs> so that we make sure we hit them, let's go into some questions. Oh, yeah. I don't know what any of the questions are. We had some questions sent in. And if you have a question, let us know right now. Yeah. And we'll do our best to answer it. Ask me the one that I do know. Oh, it was funny. Um, okay, so somebody wrote in. Wait, you're off screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody, <laughs> I was trying not to let her see. Somebody wrote in, if I, I take 86 Mighty Metabolism today, will the scale be down 10 pounds tomorrow? <laughs> sorry. Well, we love, we love Mighty Metabolism. So I'm not going to tell you to take 86. That would not feel good on your gut. No. And, um, 
And whether or not you would be down 10 pounds tomorrow, probably not. No, it would not be healthy. <laughs> So here, but take one. Let's talk about why Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and Jennifer, thank you so much. Um, she said we're oh, not we're boring. This boring. is such great information. Oh, okay, thank you. Sometimes I feel like well, I when we get really clinical or technical, Grab oh, that, baby, this is Mighty Metabolism. If you guys haven't seen it, now I'm gonna put it close because look at how beautiful that label is. You we guys. worked so hard on that, you guys. <laughs> it might not look like it, but this um, this was like a. These are, it's our baby, this one, and then mm -hmm. um, our super sleep, which we'll talk about later. But Mighty Metabolism, let's talk about it since it's in my hand. Yeah. This was a labor of love for us. One of the things that Emmy and I talked about when we very first started Macro Mavens was um, providing a supplement where people could take it, where we could basically take, we were taking several supplements that we wanted to combine into one, and it hadn't been done um, the way we wanted it until we created ourselves. So finally we were just like, you know what? Nobody's gonna do it for us, we just need to do it ourselves. And so we did. And thankful, I'm so thankful that Emmy kind of had already been down that road before, and so she kind of was guiding us through the whole process. But this supplement, I take it every single I never day, miss a day without fail. And if I do, I will turn around and I will go home or I'll drive to Emmy's to get one because it literally is magic. And I don't, there's not a magic pill, you guys. There's not. It's not magic, actually. And, and I, I just want to say, like, you do not have to take Mighty Metabolism no. to have success with our program. You do not no, have to be in our program to take Mighty they're Metabolism. They're not connected. They just... We just created it for that very thing, to have something that would supplement all the other foundational items to really help fully support your metabolism and its ability to like rev up and be in optimal... Um, at optimal strength, at, I guess we should yeah, say. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you can go to our highlights on our Instagram and we talk about every single one of the ingredients that are in here and why they're so great for you. Um, and it's just, it's a fabulous supplement. I will never not take it. I love it. Yeah. And I, just to say really quick, it has a ma um, African mango extract, raspberry ketones, um, acetyl L-carnitine, um, coleus for scoli, um, green tea extract. Like it's, the way that it is developed, and, and we really did develop it as a metabolism support to really help wake up your mitochondria's ability, like fat burning potential. Um, it also, and, and we're not necessarily all about curbing cravings because we want to fuel the body, but it does have a component of it that will help with basically craving management. This However, is, yeah. the, the thing that we didn't expect, because this is not what we created it for, is and but it's the number one piece of feedback that we get on it is um, its ability to provide you just sustained energy throughout the day, non jittery energy. It is not an energy pill. No, no. Um, but anyways, it's just something that if you have an interest in you know additionally supporting your metabolism, first and foremost, before you ever consider taking a supplement, do the other things. Get yeah. your nutrition in order. Make sure you're hydrating your body. Prioritize your, body. your sleep. Yeah. Move your body. Yeah. Um, those things are so much more important and will get you so much further than any supplement ever, ever will. But if you're doing those things and you want um, a boost, it's awesome. And also, you know, to piggyback on that, it's real easy to go to the health food store or anywhere and grab a supplement that you think is going to fix you know, a problem, but if you're not taking care of your nutrition, if you're not moving your body every day, if you're not getting outside, if you're not practicing things that, um, that really bring true health to your body, then the supplement's not going to do much for you anyway. Yeah. Um, so get, get all of that under control first and then see where the problems lie and see if you can supplement with something to help you. And that's really our goal with Macro Mavens. Like we, Yes, first and foremost, we work with our clients on nutrition, and we love that because foundationally it is so important for longevity and health in every, in every facet. However, we also hope and pray that along the way, we get to partner with our clients in really transforming other areas of their life, like their sleep, like their stress resilience, like their hydration, like how they move their body. And that's why we have components for each one of those things. And we're always adding to it. And so um, it's just so fun. It's so fun to see all the wins that come out that weren't necessarily what people first come to us for. Yeah. Um, that's actually the best. It that. is, it is. And we started out by saying when you're looking for a supplement, you know, do your homework on um, on all of the things. Is it third party tested? Is it GMP certified? Is it manufactured in the USA? Like all of those things. And so I just have to like 
plug our Mighty Metabolism for a minute. This is our flyer. It's probably really hard to see. Um, we have these on our website too, but I mean, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, non-GMO, FDA registered facility, GMP certified, manufactured in the USA, checks all the boxes. Like we went the extra mile. Yeah. And there are some really reputable supplement companies out there. And we listed some of them at the beginning of this, but um, definitely if, if you're going to spend money on a supplement, like don't waste it. Don't just go to the big box stores and find the one that looks the prettiest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Another question that we got is, um, what is a supplement suggested for tendon, ligament, and strength? Well, I think tendon and ligament strength is what was intended for tendon that. Tendon and ligament strength. Okay. Well, I mean, I think that there's a lot. I would say first and foremost, like, are you taking magnesium? Mm -hmm. Because magnesium, I mean, we had, we've... I could talk about magnesium all day long just because it is it is just a staple um, and it has so many benefits and benefits that I didn't even realize yeah. um, but also I just I love it for recovery so like if you're somebody who exercises a lot or is really demanding on your body the magnesium is really helpful um, for your recovery process all of those minerals that are in there move into your cells and help you to heal faster. And so I always notice if I run out of magnesium um, and we have a hard workout, it'll take me longer to recover than if I were able to, you know, take my magnesium every day. You can also get magnesium in a spray. Yeah. Like um, for kids with growing pains or muscle aches or things like that, you can get magnesium spray, spray it right onto their muscles and it burns rub it. a little bit. But it's it a works. little stingy, but it works. Yeah. My, um, well, now 10 year old which sounds crazy to say he gets pains behind his knees at night sometimes and so i use the topical i use the ancient minerals topical mineral uh magnesium spray and it really it does help um it helps a lot actually um okay so the question was what supplements if any do we suggest for um tendon and ligament strength so Haley mentioned magnesium um i would also say and and it depends you know once again first and foremost clean up the diet if you haven't already because yeah. if you are fueling your body with non-inflammatory foods it's going to really help bring the inflammation levels down in the body which is going to naturally help the health of things like muscle and ligament tissue and so that would be minimizing or eliminating things like dairy grain and sugar and that's naturally going to bring your long grade chronic inflammation levels down um, and I think that's really something that's super critical for everybody from a longevity standpoint. I would also I, wonder too, like to just curious about the question um, and kind of what's behind it. Like, are you experiencing joint and ligament pain? Like, yeah. are you injured? Yeah. Um, or are you just wanting to strengthen your joints and ligaments? Because I think that you would go about it maybe two different ways if you're coming from an injury standpoint versus just keeping those things nice and strong. Yeah. And if you're looking at um, the latter of those two, another one that can be really good is glucosamine and chondroitin. And so um, I have this on hand. I don't personally take it consistently, but my husband does. Um, and he has quite a few old injuries that he kind of consistently recovers uh, or tries to stay in recovery from. Um, and then another really good one is collagen. Um, oh, I didn't bring my collagen either. I think either. I might have. Um, and so, um, I'm in the process of trying to switch over from the vital proteins collagen to the thorn collagen. Um, but collagen by nature is going to be really good for muscle tissue, ligaments, hair, nail, skin. Um, it naturally helps. So I think like Haley said, magnesium, potentially glucosamine conjointin, collagen, things like curcumin, um, yeah. uh, which is also turmeric can be really healthy. Uh, Helpful. Helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, it's a natural anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Just make sure it has black pepper in it because your body needs the two in conjunction. Mm -hmm. He's so smart. That's a good one, though. I do take um, turmeric, actually, on a daily basis. I love me some turmeric. What I really love, but I haven't been good about making it, is liposomal vitamin C with turmeric in it. Yeah. We we make our own, but I'm <laughs> I've been a slacker lately. Yeah, I haven't made some recently either. The problem is, the reason why I haven't made it is because you can buy liposomal C in a capsule now. You can, but it's expensive. It is expensive. And it's not quite as potent as it yeah. is when you make it yourself. Yeah. We're not saying make your own vitamins. In fact, don't don't make your own don't vitamins. Don't do that. <laughs> don't be like us. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, another question that we got. Okay, we talked about fiber. 
Somebody asked what fiber we recommend. Um, Can I say hi to my friend real fast? Yeah. I saw Moji hopped on. I think She's I saw my, that too. my very my very dear dear friend. Anyway, I just wanted to say I love you, Moj. That's all. I love you too, Moj. <laughs> we love all of you guys. Yes, we do. She's just a real special one. Um, You're all really special. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> She's like really near and dear. Okay, um, another question that we got is, oh, does should everybody, okay, so I'm going to paraphrase this because it was a pretty <laughs> long one. Um, it was somebody wanting to know that if they didn't necessarily struggle with sleep, should they still consider taking the sleep supplement because of the cortisol support? Oh. That's a really good it's question. A great question. Um, and I, I think the answer is super individual. So I, uh, let me just talk a little bit about our sleep supplement. So the two biggest um, pain points, I think we could say, for a lot of our clients were metabolism and sleep, and they go hand in hand. And Haley and I were taking so many different individual supplements for optimization, but that's why we really wanted to hone in on those two things and combining them in a more affordable, jam-packed, high-potency um, supplement. And, and look so, at how beautiful the label is, you guys. <laughs> I know. It really was labor we're really, love. We're really proud. We are. And so Super Sleep, it really, its primary function is to help with deep, restorative sleep without any form of a hangover effect the following morning. We want you to wake up at your optimal levels of cortisol in the morning is when they should peak and then they should downregulate throughout the day. And so what we've done with this supplement is we've both created um, a mixture of items that's going to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, enter your deep sleep faster and have um, longer deep sleep which is where all of like your cellular turnover restoration happens it's the clean out but it also it is designed so that it's supporting your natural cortisol rhythms because and this is true for myself for so many years because my stress levels were so high the demands on my body and things that were going on in life I had my cortisol was peaking in the middle of the night and I know that because I did the um, saliva cortisol test the 24-hour test and I would wake up in the middle of the night. I, I wouldn't necessarily have a problem going to sleep, but I would fall asleep. I'd wake up in the middle of the night. My brain would be racing, and I'd have a difficult time going back to sleep. Well, that's oftentimes those, cort those cortisol spikes at night. Now, a lot of us know that cortisol, sometimes when you have too much cortisol or your cortisol rhythms are off, your body ends up storing that as fat, or you have a difficult time shedding fat, especially in places like your abdomen. And so what we wanted to do is create something that both helps you have more efficient sleep, restorative sleep, but also supports your cortisol rhythm so that they're naturally peaking in the morning and down-regulating throughout the day so that you wake up feeling refreshed and energetic. I do not go a night anymore without taking super sleep. And I don't want to be dependent on anything in life, honestly. I, I, I don't want to need things. Um, and it's not that I need it, it's that... I've been able to show I wear an aura ring and everybody is different. And once again, do your own research, see what works for you. Um, and if you have the ability to track your own statistics, absolutely do that. But I've been able to incredibly improve the efficiency of my sleep. I do other things too, outside of just taking super sleep. Um, and we have a whole deep sleep protocol on the toolbox of our website. Once again, free resource. Um, macromavens.life. Um, <laughs> but I've been able to increase the efficiency of my sleep, so I still probably don't get as long of a sleep window is what's ideal. I'll, um, I'm a little bit ashamed to say this, but I'm usually somewhere between six and a half and seven and a half hours. But my efficiency is always, almost always, between 90 and 100%. And I get a lot of deep sleep and a lot of REM sleep. And that's when my body's restoring itself. Um, I, my latency, I fall asleep anywhere between like five and 12 minutes and I stay asleep all night. Um, and I can show that in my data and I love it. Yeah. I love super sleep. I could just repeat what Emmy said. <laughs> I never, I've never had a problem sleeping. Um, and I take super sleep. I take it every day. If I miss it, it's not that big of a deal to me. I don't feel like it. In fact, maybe I'll do a little study. Maybe because yeah, I, I, I wear an aura ring also. <laughs> um, maybe I'll stop taking super sleep for a little while and record my data, and yeah. then I'll start taking it and see see how I do. It could I'm be not interesting. willing to do that. <laughs> she doesn't like to be dependent, but she'll never give it up. <laughs> I'll just, do that. I'll do it. I I love that. I just I went so long without getting 
I, I, and even when I started sleeping better, I don't think I fully realized um, how much, what a difference deep restorative sleep can make. Like such a difference. So anyways, um, <laughs> there's a ton of information also if you want more information on super sleep. I would say no, not everybody needs it. But if sleep is something you struggle with at all, or if you're or not waking stress. up feeling refreshed, yeah. and or you feel like you're waking up and can't get back to sleep, or you feel like you have some sort of some form of cortisol dysregulation, which is really yeah. common, especially here in the states. Yeah, um, I think it's something that you could consider, or you could start with doing some testing first too. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really important too. If you have a very high stressful life lifestyle um you probably aren't getting the greatest sleep that you think you might be and taking a supplement like super sleep might be really helpful yeah i dig it sometimes one thing i do know is if i watch a stressful show like something um with a lot of action before i go to bed i don't sleep i i sleep i sleep well and i don't wake up but when i look at my data i don't get very good deep sleep and I think it's because of the action packedness of whatever it was that I was watching. Which doesn't happen very often because we don't watch much TV. But when I do, I have to be careful. Yeah, and I think, I, I do think, you know, if you're going to start a new regimen of supplements, if it's something that's outside of the foundational items, you might want to um, introduce one new thing at a time and just really pay attention yeah. to how you're feeling. And sometimes I have the best intentions of paying attention, but life is so full. So... If you really want to take it to the next level, just keep a little journal and like write down like how do you feel when you wake up? Like how is your energy throughout the day or how are you performing in your workouts and how are you feeling when you go to bed? And I just think that that can give you your own feedback for how your body is responding, absorbing, utilizing and performing on whatever you're introducing to it. And you might find that you don't need it. And like and that's great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wish that I didn't need any supplements. I wish that I could get all of the things that I need from my diet and from just my daily habits. But Well, and let's talk about that for a minute because, yeah, ideally we would all eat in a way and eat in a way, have the environment and um, the support that we need to get all of our macro and micronutrients, all of our vitamins and our minerals in, um, in a way where we didn't have to additionally supplement. And I think that our ancestors hundreds of years ago probably did for the most part because they were rising with the sun, they were going to bed with the sunset, they had a really wonderful natural rhythm, they were eating foods from the ground, foods from the sea, foods that walk around, foods from the air. Um, the, the soil. soil. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even plan that, you guys. But the soil is so different. You yeah. guys, oh my gosh, this our soil here in the States has been so depleted of the nutrients. It's really, really sad. And so even if you are eating whole foods from the ground, yeah. oftentimes you probably aren't getting the amount of nutrients that you hope for or that you think you are. And, you know, farmers oftentimes, um, you know, depend depending. Some farmers really do it right, even though it cuts into their margins. But, you know, she can say this because she's a farmer. I'm a farmer. Like a lot of people aren't putting cover crops on to replenish things like nitrogen in the ground or to, to make the mineral content what it needs to be for appropriate nutrient absorption of the actual things that they're growing because it it's takes expensive. yeah it's expensive and so you know they'll end up fertilizing or doing whatever to try to add but then there's all these chemical compounds and our environment in general in terms of you know think of all the wireless that's around us think of all the plastics that are around us think of all the phthalates that we breathe in like all of these things in this high paced um, electronic and plastic world that we live in absolutely have an effect on our bodies, especially our endocrine systems. Yeah. Not to mention hormones. like processed foods and, you know, packaged foods. Like you're not getting the kind of nutrients that you need to if you're eating a bunch of packaged food. Yeah. And a lot of those things we can try to minimize, but we can't completely avoid them. And they absolutely have an effect on depleting what our body will naturally absorb or utilize or its ability to even absorb it in the first place. Yeah. And so I will say for those of you that are tracking your food, it is kind of fun sometimes to go in and look at a deep drive as to your natural a what? A, a deep drive. A deep, a drive. deep dive. Take a deep dive. A dee -dee. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> We're back. Um, so to go in and look in my fitness pal at some of the um 
uh, micronutrients yeah. that you're getting from your food. And you might be surprised. Um, and then, you know, everybody has a different level that they need too. So yeah. I think that that's always an important thing to know. So before we go into some of our other miscellaneous items that we like, um, I do think that it's worth, for, especially for those of you guys just joining us, going back to the basics because we've talked about a lot of different supplements and not, you know, we've, I know we've said this a handful of times, but you know, not everybody needs to take every supplement. First and foremost, like if you are not already, start with your food. Like absolutely start with your food. If you don't know what that means, reach out um, to us, to somebody else. Like it is amazing what can happen in a pretty short amount of time when you actually take the time to track what you're eating and look at what the macronutrient composition of that is and the micronutrient composition, what your goals are, what the demands on your body are, and then you come up with a plan that really supports that and you start actually seeing like, oh my gosh, I'm significantly under eating protein as an example. So you, you're having a hard time preserving muscle, you're putting on fat. Um, let's say that you're not eating enough fat intake. Well, especially if you're a female, you're not optimally supporting your body's ability to produce hormones. You're probably gonna, you know, let's say you're not eating enough healthy complex carbohydrates it could be wreaking havoc on your thyroid like all of those macronutrients are important for foundational health so starting with your food starting with your hydration starting with your sleep starting with moving your body and your brain from a from a gratitude standpoint like just those things like social standpoint gratitude standpoint if you start there and then you can start perfecting with supplementing where needed or you can try to do them in tandem um, but foundationally that's that is where it's at yeah and you don't need a prescription for any of that stuff no. eat real food go outside and get some sunlight move your body every day sleep at night be grateful to be alive if any one of those items that we just listed you were like ugh. I gotta do that. Like, I need to do that. Take note of that. And like, in this moment, be like, okay, I'm gonna make a plan. Yep. And I think that's where sometimes a coach, I know for me, even coaches need coaches. Like, having a, somebody in your corner, an accountability buddy, coach, whomever that may be, can make all the difference in helping you stay accountable until those small choices become habits, habits. and the habits become a lifestyle. Yeah. And when that lifestyle shifts, 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 shift. When that <laughs> lifestyle ship shifts, that's <laughs> what happens. Oh, she, she, and I'll just sit back here and just let her go on. Sorry, I got a southern accent for a second. Did I you know I it? like it. <laughs> um, when I your said, mindset shifts, yeah. Powerful. Yeah, it is. It's it's a big deal. It's a really big freaking deal. Okay, so were we gonna go back to supplements? Yep. Great. Okay, so <laughs> uh, another question was um, like, what are some of our favorites? So we talked about the foundational favorites, but I actually think that it would be fun to talk about some of our some of the things that you and I may take that maybe not everybody needs, but that are our favorites. Do oh. you have any of those? Oh, um, well. Yeah, I do actually. And some, you know, I think that like vitamins and supplements, they kind of get lumped into the same category. And, and Emmy and I, we're not really talking about vitamins right now or like herbs or things like that. Like I take a lot of herbs. Um, one thing I will take, and I don't have the herb. herbs. Herb. <laughs> herb. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I don't, I don't have it with me, um, but I take it religiously every single day. And then the second I start feeling like I'm catching a cold, or a tickle in my throat or anything, then I fully increase my amount that I take by a lot. And it's called Wellness Formula. Um, and I love it. And I tell all of my people about it because it literally will reduce the length of your cold um, or any sickness like greatly. When my kids, like if, if one of them like sneezes in my house, I'm like, go take some wellness formula. It's magic. Um, 
although there's no such thing as a magic pill, so it's not actually magic, but it's great. It's called Wellness Formula. It has a teal top on it. I can't remember the company that makes it. Um, the other thing that I do, and I mentioned it earlier, is I take selenium. I take selenium every day. We tend to be, um, you have to be careful with selenium. You need to be careful with all supplements, but you have to make sure that the selenium you're taking is natural selenium. It's really easy to get um, like a synthetic selenium that your body is not gonna absorb like it absorbs regular selenium. So I take um, thorn selenium. I take it every single day. It's great for immune boosting. So most of the other stuff that I take is for either um, exercise recovery or immune boosting. Um, so that's when um, a lot of people ask us about a protein supplement. Like, what about a protein supplement? I don't take a protein supplement. I don't either. Mainly because I like to eat my protein. Um, but a lot of people have a hard time, you know, eating enough protein. And so they like a protein supplement, which we say you shouldn't probably take it every day. Um, we would love for you to get all of your protein from actual protein sources, whole food sources. But if you need a supplement, the thorn, um, vanilla one is great. My, my I family use it for likes my, it for my boys. Yeah. And I, I also, there's a I few cook other ones it. that I like too. Cause I actually, I really like, um, like hydrolyzed beef Oops. protein. If you're going to supplement, yeah. this one's way, but it's a clean, it is a clean one. Yeah. Um, and so I do think once again, like for our clients, we want them getting the large majority of their food. Well, and we're talking protein specifically from whole food, yeah. not from things like bars and shakes. If you need a supplement here and there in a pinch or it's a treat or something like that, absolutely. Um, I have another one. Okay, go for it. <laughs> um, another one that I don't take currently, but I have in the past and I probably will after the summer is creatine. Um, and I don't necessarily take it for muscle building, although it is great for that. Um, but the, the supplement is really, really good for your brain. And I take it more for the cognitive, um, uh, things that you get out of it. And I, I really like the thorn one. Creatine is one of those things where you can, thanks, Emmy's got it. Um, creatine, there are a million different brands of creatine. You can get them anywhere and everywhere. I really like the thorn one. Um, it's one of the supplements though that you kind of have to, it has to build itself in your body. So if you were to take like five grams of it a day, I can't remember how long it takes. It takes several weeks for your body to have a full amount of creatine in order to really reap the benefits. So you may not see the benefits in it for quite a while, but once your um, muscles are fully like creatinized, I don't think that's an actual word, but as soon as you have enough, um, then you'll start really seeing the, the benefits of it in your muscles. It helps your muscles pull water um, from your body and it pulls that water into your muscles, helping them to, um, to grow and to heal and to restore themselves. So creatine is great. I just realized that when we were talking about foundation, foundational, sorry guys, I don't know what is My going on today. My talking up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> foundational supplements, I don't think we talked about an omega. Oh, well, I had mentioned if you eat fish every single day, you probably don't need an omega. I take an omega because I don't eat quite enough fish. I eat a fair amount of fish. I eat it a couple times a week at least. So I do take an omega every day also. But I take an omega every single day and I eat a lot of fish. But I love what it does for my inflammation, for my cognitive health. I think there's so many benefits to an omega. So like Haley said, not everybody probably needs one every day, but I consider it a foundational one along with my vitamin D, with my probiotic, and with my multi. Um, and I love the Thorn Omega. Um, I also like the Designs for Health Omega. There's, there's a handful of good ones out there. I think Pure Encapsulations has a good one. But uh, I definitely think that, and this one has um, COQ10 in it too, which I think is just a really great combo. So. Um, anyways, I just, I didn't want to go without talking about that one. Yeah. If you are on a macro plan and you're tracking your food, one thing you need to be aware of is tracking your supplements. Yeah. Also the way I do, it makes it really easy. If you go into my fitness pal, you can create a meal and I just log all of my supplements as a meal. And then it's just one swipe over every day. And then you can kind of edit, you know, if you didn't take your Omega one day or you ran out or whatever, then you just edit it because like your Omega is probably at least one gram of fat. So you'll want to account for that. Um, and and a lot of supplements do have um, some calorie value. So you just wanna be aware. Yeah. And um, one thing that we haven't, I mean, we touched on it, but we haven't talked about, we have on the supplement protocol that we put together. Once again, it's on the toolbox of our website, macromavens.life, click on toolbox, tons of free resources, scroll on down to the supplement protocols or supplement suggestions is vitamin C. So we have a whole section on there. For Nobody us. wants scurvy. Yeah. <laughs> 
keep any. It's true. Nobody wants no, curry. <laughs> but I just think, especially if you are fighting something, if you're around people that are immune compromised, um, and or if it's just something that you want to do preventatively, I think that vitamin C, There, you are, if you're taking a good multi, you should be getting some vitamin C. Also, you yeah. can, of course, get it in your food. Um, but especially when you're looking at fighting something or preventing something you're being exposed to, high-dose vitamin C is a game changer. If you can combine zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, um, and then there's several different herbs that can be really helpful too, and there's a whole section on that protocol. Those are not necessarily things you need to be taking every day, but I definitely think when you're in that phase, it can really help to bolster your immune system to um, help prevent. Yeah. Like I and said, or recover. Yeah, I take wellness formula every day. I have my kids take it. When we go travel, we take Where it. Where do you get your wellness formula? You can get it anywhere. You can get it online. You can get it at natural grocers. You can get it at Food for Less. You can get it at Fred Meyer. You can get it anywhere. Cool. I've never taken it. Really? Yeah. Huh. yeah. I buy it like a big bottle. It's expensive. Do your kids take it too, did yeah. you say? Yeah. yeah, we all take it. That's good. It's good of you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, okay, I went back and forth because I don't like to talk about things until I've personally fully tested them. Um, so I'm just going to mention that I'm taking, I'm taking both of these right now. This I is too. resveracel and berberine. And especially a lot of the longevity um, experts that I follow are really talking about the benefits of both of these. Um, it's... What is it? Nicotinamide ribocide is it's, the primary. It's something I can't pronounce. <laughs> yeah, it's the primary ingredient in resveracel, which the whole primary function is to help you with longevity and anti-aging and cellular recovery and cellular function and mitochondrial health. Um, and so I can't necessarily say that I've noticed a difference per se, but I should see it in my biological age decreasing over time mm. as I naturally age. So. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on this one. I, I There's a lot of research behind it. I've read a ton of research on it. I've been taking it con, consistently for probably a little bit over a month. I can't say I've noticed a huge difference, but I don't necessarily think I would. It's kind of one of yeah. those background supplements. I also don't want to waste my money. So um, yeah, if I, I don't see a big benefit over time, I'll probably stop taking it. But it's one I thought I would mention because I'm taking it every single day right now. I am too, actually. I didn't want to mention it just because I haven't noticed... But, like, I haven't noticed any, I don't feel any different, but I don't know that you would. And so, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things. And that's that's what's hard about supplements, yeah. too, is, like, a lot of times, like, let's just take vitamin D, for instance. If I'm, if I'm really regular taking my vitamin D every single day, I don't yeah. notice a difference. But what I do notice is when I stop taking it and then I'm super grumpy or I, you know, if, I, for me, vitamin D is, like, it's, it's, it yeah. shows itself through my attitude. I would say the three supplements that I take that I notice a significant difference when I'm not taking are my magnesium, my mighty metabolism, and my super sleep. Those are the, my three that like I, I can actually notice a tangible difference with. A lot of the other things I take, I take because I know that I need a bolstering in them because I track that for myself and because they're just foundationally really good for my longevity and my health and my immune system and my cellular function and my endocrine system and all of the things. Yeah, so you may uh, not feel different, yeah. but just know that, especially if you pick a good quality um, supplement, that it's doing work in the background. The other one that I am taking right now is berberine and you know there especially for like diabetics there's a ton of research behind berberine I'm not diabetic but um, and I keep my um, my blood sugar levels really healthy and we we talk about that all of the time or I try to I should say you guys saw our little taste testing thing earlier so that wasn't ideal because I hadn't just eaten protein and fat first but yeah it's fine you got a little little yeah. track it in there um anyways this can really help with blood sugar management um it can help um with basically well it, it's mitochondrial health again too so there's there's a lot of background benefits that i don't want to go into too much because once again for me this hasn't proven to be something that i will take long term yet so same yeah um okay so so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up and then I have a couple questions for you. Oh boy. <laughs> Why don't you just ask me now? <laughs> no, we'll we'll finish. Okay, well, with okay, so we talked about our foundational supplements. Um and Emmy and I very similarly take similar supplements. So the ones for me are vitamin D every day, probiotic, 
every day, a multi every day, mighty metabolism every day, and magnesium every day. Those are mine. And I would add omega every day for me. I do take an omega um, every day, but it's because I don't eat quite enough fish. Um, if you are a heavy pescatarian, if you eat yeah. lots and lots of fish, like an omega, and, and this is something that you can have tested by your doctor. You can yeah. have your omega-3 levels tested um, and see if an omega is beneficial to you because you yeah. don't want to waste your money on something that you don't need. So if you eat a ton of fish and your omega levels are great, there's no reason to take a supplement. Yeah. Um, I just know that I probably need more than what I'm getting through my diet. So those are the ones I take. And then we also just talked about how important it is to first take a step back and really look at your foundational health first. There's no reason to be throwing a ton of supplements at your health when you're not first and foremost looking at your nutrition. Yeah. What are you bringing into your body? Are you using foods that can heal? Or are you using foods that are gonna take you to closer to a disease state? Really focusing on foods from the ground, foods from the sea, foods that walk around, foods from the air. Um, and really trying to shift your environment to one that um, is going to um, fuel your body, your brain, your soul, all the things. Yeah. Um, and then also doing things like prioritizing good sleep hygiene, keeping your body hydrated, having good stress resilience, having positive relationships in your life, all of those things that are going to provide optimal foundational health. And then, and you can do the foundational items all of the time, but then really look like how demanding are you on your body? What does your food intake look like? What minerals, micronutrients, um, supplements might you need to be your best health? What are your goals? Like all of those things. So we did yeah. talk about the foundational items. We talked about some immune boosting items. We talked about metabolic support. We talked about sleep support. And then we talked about some of our miscellaneous favorites. And don't take our word for it. Yep. Talk to your medical provider. Absolutely. Do your own research. Figure out what would be best for you. And we also talked about the fact that not all supplements are created equal. So like <coughs> Haley said, bless you. I need to take some wellness formula. <laughs> like Haley said, do your homework. There's some really great brands out there. Some of the ones that we mentioned that we really like are Designs for Health, Pure Encapsulations, Integrative Therapeutics, and Thorn. And Macro Mavens. And Macro Mavens. <laughs> um, because we've done our homework and they're GMP certified, they're third party tested, they're clinical grade, they're manufactured in the USA, all of the things, and that's really important when you're looking at, you don't wanna waste your money. Box stores oftentimes are just crap. They're just crap. But not always. Not always, but how do you? How are you gonna know? Yeah, you gotta do your research. Yeah, for sure. For sure, Zs. <laughs> okay, couple questions. Um, first of all, if you guys have any other questions, let's just scroll through this really quick and make sure we didn't miss any. I'm gonna look here. Well, hi guys. We didn't miss any. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Oh, we, oh, okay, so, and I think, I think the kids are tied right now, still. So. Dun, dun, dun. That's just kind of the way it is. Okay, um, question for you. <laughs> what? It's not supplement oh, related. Oh, okay, great. What are you most excited about in life right now? Oh, my gosh. Gosh, you know what? She's asking me this because I was kind of grumpy today. <laughs> And I don't have any reason to be grumpy, except maybe I didn't take my vitamin D. I am most excited about um, July. The month of July um, is going to be a really great month for my family. Yeah. She's I don't, got big things she's I doing. I don't know that, I, that I'm going to elaborate on that, but. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I so I ask you guys too, like think about something right now that well, you're. Well, wait, you gotta uh, answer the question. Uh, oh, sorry about my a dog. Chihuahua. It's She's funny. not a Chihuahua. Um. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, say it. You can say it. I am taking my boys on a somewhat last minute, very fast trip this week. Um, I'm so excited. Um, just the three of us. So me and my boys, my husband is um, a busy farmer right now. So we're heading down and we're just doing one day at Disneyland. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So She might be more excited than our kids. <laughs> they're really excited too. But anyway, so there's that. And I actually, you know, I have a lot I'm really looking forward to. And the reason I bring this up is because I know it's unrelated to the topic, but man, it's so easy, you guys, to just get like down in the weeds with the grind of life. And um, yes, like we all have a lot of responsibility and a lot of things that need done, but even if it's something simple, like 
sitting outside to drink your morning coffee or waking up 10 minutes earlier to journal a little bit and walk around and talk to your plants or your flowers <laughs> or planning a hike or planning a shopping trip or planning lunch with a, somebody you love spending Go sit time in with. The sunshine. Yeah, it, it can be super simple, but make sure that you are creating space, even in a super busy life, for the things that fuel you and feed you because life is short. Yep. And um, man, just... Like, I was telling Haley earlier, like, I'm just so thankful for her. Like, we get to do this together. And, like, you can create you can create opportunity for the things that fuel you and feed you. And, like, we talk about fueling our bodies with food a lot. But, man, we need to fuel our bodies with joy and our brains. So, yeah. just do it. Just do it, guys. <laughs> get out there. Get some sunshine. Fuel your body with good stuff. Take a supplement if you need it. Love on your people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, we do have... Two more days through Wednesday, our special oh, yeah. is going on right now, which is just so cool. If you sign up um, as a new client for our three, our six, or our 12-month program for individual one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching, you'll receive a free bottle of Mighty Metabolism right now. You, you don't even have to do anything except sign up, and then we send it over to you We ship free. it right to you. If you sign up with a friend, not only do you get Mighty Metabolism, but you and your friend both get $50 off of your first month, which is so cool. Um, and so take advantage of it. And if you have questions and, and you're not quite ready to commit, just go over to macromavens.life. You click on the hop on board button and that'll allow one of our coaches to reach out, answer questions, see if we're a good fit, and then we can go from there. Yep. We also have, um, we're so excited. We've been working behind the scenes on an <sighs> incredible fitness opportunity for all of you, whether you're our client or not. Um, and we're going to do it ourselves. Yeah, we are. In fact, we're starting this week and we're going to be mm. storing about it some. And um, it's a really incredible opportunity to work with what we feel is like one of the best world movement. class. Yeah. She's taught uh, all over the world. Yeah. She's a world class fitness instructor, you guys. She is a breath expert, a she movement is expert. An exceptional human being. Yeah. Home base is Hawaii for her, but she um, she's all around. And. Um, She's going to be doing this remote, but it's all prescribed um, individual to your needs. And she incorporates breath work and a number of things into it. And we're just super excited. So that's coming yeah. real soon. Macro Mavens Fit, MN Fit is yep. what it's called. And then if you are um, interested in any of the supplements that we talked about today, we tried to make it real easy for you. So two things you can do. One, you can go over to macromavens.life, click on toolbox, tons of free resources, click on the supplement overview guide there. We'll put it in stories here in a bit too. Although you'll need to go to the actual document because it has clickable links within the PDF. So you'll want to download the PDF. Um, you can also go to the shop page on our website. We have Mighty Metabolism and Super Sleep there. And we also have a link to Thorn with all of our favorites. Yep. Yeah. It's good stuff. It is. If you guys have any questions, um, you can, well, actually you can't drop them down here because we'll lose the comments. Anyway, you can click on, we'll just drop into our, slip into our DMs. Or you can want. comment on these after the fact and we'll see them. Yeah. We'll get them posted here shortly. Yep. But feel free to message us on Instagram, click the hop on board button on our website, and we would love to chat. We'd Otherwise, love have a great week, you guys, and we'll be back here same day, closest time. Next Close Monday. Close ish. Close ish. Close -ish, Close -ish, -ish. Time. <laughs> Around the same time on Monday. We'll Have see you later. Monday. Bye, guys. Bye guys. <laughs>